All right, today we're going to be doing something completely different. As you can see, I'm going to be doing some still life photography, some country still life photography. I'm here at my parents' farm and I'm going to be making images of uh, the tools that they use in the garden and some kind of old stuff that they have here, like old TVs and old radios. And I think it could be very, very cool. My setup is pretty simple. I'm using just a piece of uh, plywood here with a backdrop that I, I bought on Amazon for some 20 bucks, I believe. I'm pretty sure that there are much better backdrops out there but this is more than enough for what I want to do. I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description if someone wants to check it out. Camera wise I'll be using my Bronica with the 150mm lens. I'll be shooting FP4. There you go. But since this is my second time ever doing some still life uh, photography and I'm still not sure where to go uh, with my style for this, I'm gonna be shooting my digital camera as well. That way I can play with the raw files uh, in, the, uh, in the next few days and see where I can go with them. But I do think that FP4, I'm gonna be rating it at uh, 100 plus the orange filter is gonna get me very very close to what I want to achieve here, but we will see. This is gonna be my first image. In this one, I want to get some of the details of uh, that blade. I got a reading with my digital camera, 5.6.1.200. The Veronica doesn't have 1.200, so I'm gonna do 1.125 one, one to make sure that those details are gonna be there in the shadows. And then I have to compensate for the orange filter, so I'm gonna have to uh, decrease the shutter speed two stops. Now, as I said, I'm going to make the digital version of this. Uh, as you can see, I'm using my big lens, the 70 to 200 f4. This is an amazing lens, but it's just too much for me to carry in the, on regular trips because I have my vlogging gear and I have the Bronica. So, yeah, I settled on the 55 to 210. That is just perfectly fine uh, to take photos on trips. But this one is perfect for these kind of situations where you don't have to carry uh, it with you looks good the histogram looks good so i'm just gonna take it and that should be it So I'm taking two shots per subject. The settings are the same, but I'm trying different compositions. Like in this case, I'm farther away from the TV and I have more negative space on top of the TV. I don't know what's gonna work best, but I wanna have uh, the option of uh, choosing between the two compositions. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I've been using the mirror lockup feature because at these shutter speeds, one thirtieth of a second I'm using now with this lens, the 150mm, that would be adding uh, some camera shake and of course we want to avoid that. Alright, so that was the fourth shot. Thank you. 
I gotta say, I hate this tripod every time I bring it with me on a hike or something like that because it's so big and so heavy. But it's also so convenient for situations like this because you can do pretty much anything you want uh, with it. So look at this. This is amazing and it's just perfect for uh, these situations. It took me a long time to come up with this composition. I've had a hard time with this tool. What I was trying to do here is to capture the whole thing. That's why I moved the whole setup here because of the white uh, wall here that would work as a background. I thought that it could be cool, but the problem is uh, on this part of the tool, the tool itself. I find it really hard to capture and to create a composition of that. Even if I was taking the whole tool, this part wasn't looking that good. I've settled on a close up of this part of the tool. I like the details here, how the metallic part hugs the stick. So I'm gonna be showing this in the center of the frame, a little bit of the stick, and then I'm gonna cut the top part of the tool here so it creates a little bit of mystery too and you wonder what kind of tool uh, this is so that's what i'm gonna do now so i just found these two I don't think they've been used in years because they are full of spider webs and everything. Actually, I think spider bit me here. Oh, well, we'll see what I can do with these two. They look pretty cool. I'm not even going to take the spider webs from there because they look awesome too. So let's try. Last image of the morning, what I'm trying to do here is to have the stick going diagonally through the frame and out of focus. I'm going to be focusing on the tool. It looks pretty cool with all that dirt and spider webs. I already took one with my digital camera, but the burning is going to be so much better here because that medium format negative size is going to completely blur this stick and it's going to look very, very good, I hope. All right, so this is it for today. I don't have more time this morning, but I will be doing this again for sure. I hope that the 
images look good. I hope that FP4 was the right choice uh, for the film stock to achieve the look that I'm kind of looking for. But I have digital if, uh, if that's not the case, so I can play with it. And now the film back doesn't want to work. There you go. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.